This can be a short video demonstrating how to reliably snap one edge to another in Moto 601. So, um, first of all, you need to understand the relationship between action centers and modeling operations, because this is central to anything you do uh, modeling wise in Moto. So, first of all, I'm just going to check that uh, my snapping options are set up correctly. So, I've got snapping on, geometry snap, mode auto. So, that's uh, pretty much the default, and that should work quite well for what I'm trying to do. Um, I've got no action center selected which means I'm using a variation of the automatic action center so I'm going to activate the transform tool and you can see that it's placed the action center and the transform handles in the middle of the edge I've selected so um, at this point if I use the center of the gizmo and it's important to use the center of the gizmo for this operation and drag it down onto that edge it's going to snap it just fine. Um, you can see there's been no problem there at all. That's worked exactly how I would expect. However, there are a couple of little bugs that you should know about, and I'm just going to demonstrate them very quickly. If I um, if I undo this, you can see um, when I rotate that the um, what's happened is the transform handle has moved slightly off the edge, and that's because um, while I dragged down, the transform handle moved in screen space while the edge was moving down the geometry. So what I need to do, I'm just going to click out here to move the transform handle back on the work plane. If I just click in the center of the edge just to try and bring that transform handle back in place, and now it has, what's going to happen um, when I try and drag down onto that edge again, it's going to look as if it snapped at first glance. But in fact, as I, as I drag down, the transform handle is drifting slightly away from the edge, and as I zoom in, snapping has failed. Now this is a bug, it will be fixed, the devs are aware of it, but I thought it would be worth pointing out just to save a lot of frustration. Now I'm going to demonstrate another little bug. Um, if you see my geometry snap properties are set to auto, but if I drop the tool and now I undo the operation, you can see that it's uh, changed my geometry snap mode to vertex. Now this is another bug, so if I was to try and do this snap again, it's not going to work at all because it can't snap to the edge, it's only going to snap to vertices. So um, just another thing to be aware of, both of these bugs seem to be linked to the undo uh, operation, um, so be aware of them both and uh, I'll show you how to avoid them. So the way to avoid uh, having uh, issues with the uh, no action center mode is to actually s uh, set uh, an explicit action center. So if I activate my transform tool and then I go to action center and use selection center auto axis, which is the uh, action center that's recommended in the documentation when it comes to snapping. I'm just going to hit F11 to make sure that I'm happy with my geometry snap mode auto. Now if I if I uh, use the uh, center of the gizmo, and again it's important to use the center of the gizmo to drag down onto this edge, it's going to snap to it no problems. Now even if I undo, because I've actually explicitly set the um, selection center, action center, it's not going to move my uh, my transform handle, so even if I undo it's not going to break it, it's just going to carry on working reliably. So this is the action center that I recommend, although you could also use different action centers. I mean, if you wanted to get fancy, you could do a couple of things. I mean, you could, um, with this action center, you're actually able to change the axis. So if you wanted to be really safe, you could snap the uh, the blue handle onto the edge that you want to snap to, and then just use the uh, the, the Z axis to, to drag down, and that's gonna, that should, in theory, snap right here. And again, that snapped accurately, no problems, um, slightly more convoluted workflow but definitely doable or just let me undo that. A couple of other things you could do, you could um, you could try using an element action center and clicking on this face and then uh, going back and setting the center back onto your selection and uh, again performing the, the snap and uh, again it should snap 100% reliably so these are all you know the many ways that you can do things in Modo um, the, the issue I think that most people run into is just when they're using the no action center mode because that is um, that is basically a little bit buggy at the moment and that's what causes problems. So if for instance uh, I set it now and try and yeah you can see it's, uh, it's dragging the wrong thing <laughs> try again yeah that's not worked because of the drift between the um, the, the element I'm moving and the uh, and the automatic action center and this is a bug and this is what I think uh, is causing a lot of problems for people. So as for the bug where um, the geometry snap mode changes from auto to vertex, that seems to be linked to uh, dropping the tool with snapping on. So if I just activate the transform tool and just do any kind of transform, drop the tool, and uh, if you keep an eye here, as I undo, 
it's going to change the mode to vertex. So unfortunately for the time being all you can do is just keep an eye on that and just uh, if you notice it changing uh, to vertex just change it back to auto or you can even change it to edge center if you want to be really specific about what you're snapping to. So finally I just want to talk a little bit more about action centers and how you can use them to control your snapping uh, very precisely and with a lot of control. So I'm going to activate the transform tool and uh, make sure my snapping is on and uh, set to auto and now I'm going to activate the selection center auto axis so that places my action center in the middle of my selection and I can control the axis so I can use this little blue square here what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it to this vertex here at the end of the edge and what that does is it aligns it along the edge perfectly now um, with this in place I can um, I can just use one handle to um, constrain my movement in one direction and if you keep your eye on you can see there's this little purple crosshair that I'm moving just below the, um, the transform handle you can use this to snap onto any element you want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it directly on the center of the edge below the edge I'm moving to and what that's done is it's created a perfectly uh, vertical face so because uh, these, uh, these two edges are now aligned in the Y axis and uh, I can use it to, on any edge, I could constrain it directly below this edge for instance or this edge. You see it offers you a lot of power and control so as long as you understand how the transform handles work, how you can control them and how you can use them to um, to control your snapping between different elements so you don't, you're not limited to edges, you could try and snap to verts, um, whatever's available really. Um, you can use all these controls together to get very very precise control of uh, the placement of your elements in Modo. So I hope you found this useful and thanks very much for watching.